This is Company of the Year Award awarded by CSR Malaysia. This is given to one of my clients, Maxima Resources. They came in with this award today and said they need a photo shoot of this and have the photo delivered today. So I was thinking that we should do a tutorial on how you can shoot and light up a highly transparent award like this. Well done, Maxima Resources. You know, seriously, whenever I shoot awards like this, the scariest part about it is breaking them. I think if there's anything I'm being paid for all these shoots is not to break the award. So you can see that I've got a white flag to line the table. Do not want any other colors spilling on the award. And you notice that it's got these beveled edges, which means that I've got to see how I flag this. And I elevated the award higher so that I don't have to worry when I have to pen tool this out. So I'm gonna go grab my flag and see where to position this. What color should I put for the flag before I can even think about lighting it up? I wanna be able to see an outline by putting black. There you go. Did you see this? A black flag would line the right side when it's on the left. There you go. So I've got to have black flag here perhaps. What if I put white and line it up? So I've gotten the flag set up on both left and right, pretty symmetrical. And there's a flash here that hits the wall. So the whole idea of having the flag here, I'm not even lighting it up because I want the edges, the beveled edges of the ward to be a different tonal range, slightly darker than the wall. So whatever light that's going to light up the award is going to come from the wall, which is lit up by two flashes. There's one more here. So that's at the zoom of 24, 1 over 2 power. Same as well, 1 over 2, zoom at 24. Now, this is what I'm doing. Whenever you're shooting such things, always block in between so no one walks in front and at the back of the... I'm not going to go back to Maxima and tell them that I'm so sorry I broke your award. So we've got it and got this line as well, elevated. So at ISO of 200, no, I've dropped it to 10125. At F16, at a shutter speed of 200, well within sync, always make sure you're on a tripod. Focus on the name of the award. And there you go. Just nice. Not too bright. So we're going to put this in Photoshop and we're going to use the pen tool to extract this out. Despite the fact that I see a little bit of black more on the left, I'm not going to waste too much time because I know I'm going to be touching up a lot. Awards like this would typically have quite a fair bit of imperfections and also scratches. Look at this. So we're going to make the award as symmetrical as we can and deliver to the customer the RAW file, the JPEG file, the PSD file, and the PNG file all today in the next one and a half hours. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use the pen tool to select an outline. That way, I can completely select this whole trophy out. And I realize that the ward is not symmetrical the way I flagged it but because of the lack of time, not gonna waste my time during photo shoot. So I'm gonna select out the text and keep it as a separate layer while I inverse the award from right to left and remove all this text and paste on the text layer of the trophy. So I'm gonna make sure that I minimize all these edges because I know that if I paste it on a separate layer, it might have brightness or level differences. So I realized that I shouldn't have done this. In hindsight, I should have just copied the edges. Well, too late now. Delivery time is the next one hour. So I've gotten all this left and right perfect. The text looks good, but there's a little bit of edges like I mentioned. So in every project, I do make mistakes and learn myself. So that's the learning point of this tutorial here. 
Select the right approach to edit, otherwise you might end up with more work. The results might be same, but you end up with more work. And I'm glad that everything looks fine now. So I'm going to deliver the award in three different files, which is in white and a black background and a PNG. And of course, I'm going to give the PSD as well and the raw file as well. Great. Editing took almost an hour and this is spotlessly beautiful. And viewers, that's how you light up and shoot a highly transparent award like this. Don't hit it with light directly, always light up from the rear, flag it so that you get edges and tones and spend quite a fair bit of time touching up all the imperfections and dust that you get on the award. Maxima Resources, congratulations for winning this. I look forward to shoot your next award. And viewers, head on to our website, support our courses. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button and write to us. I'd like to know what you want to learn. Jeez, this is, this is so stressful, you know, shooting this because it's so heavy and so thin. I'm so worried that I dropped this. Look at my hands, I'm sweating like a pig here. Oh. And I'm not going to move this back. Can one of you like hold this? I'm like really stressed out holding this. Can? Be careful, okay? Okay. Okay, Lucas, I want you to take that flash and put it exactly like this over that side. Oh, hey, 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 walk that side. I'm not gonna. Jeez. I'm not gonna go up to them and say, sir, the photo shoot was fine, but then I dropped your award. No, the other side. I'm not gonna light it up. The other side. You gotta watch our tutorials, you know. Oh, hey, 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 hey,